Watch you guys, today I'm going to show you how to safely transfer programs from one drive to another. This could be your C drive to a D drive or whatever drive letters it is. Now we all know that a lot of people have very small C drives. Some people only have 128 gigabytes or even 256 gigabytes and this can fill up very quickly. So one way to reduce the size of the actual drive so we can gain back some space would be to transfer all of your programs from your C drive to another drive. And we're going to be transferring a bunch of programs from our C drive to our E drive in this case, but it could be a D drive or whatever drive it you want to uh, transfer them to. Now, the good thing about this is you don't have to uninstall them and reinstall them. We're going to transfer them as they are right now to another new clean drive to free up space on our C drive. Let me show you what we've got here. We've got a programs uh, drive here which is an E drive. This can be any drive letter, but you can see it's empty. And what we're going to do is transfer all of the files from our C drive to that drive. So let's go ahead and open up our browser and we're going to head over to ESUS and download the program here. This is going to allow us to transfer programs from one drive to another for free, but with a catch. And I'll explain that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and get this installed. I've downloaded it already and we're going to get this installed onto the computer. Now, with all these particular types of software, there's a bunch of them out there. And uh, the problem with them is they sort of offer you a few features to be able to do stuff. And then they also put everything else behind a paywall. They do this with data recovery software and a lot of other software that they use on their website. It's to entice you in to download the software and install it. And unfortunately, some of the programs will not be transferable unless you buy the full program. But I'll show you that in more detail once we get this installed on the system. Now, I'm just going to quickly let this finish off and we'll take a look. OK, so now we can click on the Start Now button and this will open up the actual application so we can transfer our programs. So here we have the actual program itself. You can see there's a lot more other features built inside this program. So we're going to be interested in the app migration that's what we're interested in this video so let's go ahead you can see here it's going to say old and new so you can transfer from one pc to another with this particular program if you want you to but we're interested in just the app migration so let's click on this one and you can see here disk a to disk b basically in a nutshell that can be any type of one disk to another disk it doesn't have to be a and b it can be any type of disk Let's go ahead and take a look at the applications that we can transfer. And this is one of my biggest pet hates of programs like this, where they offer you some free options, but they also offer a pro version where you have to upgrade. And of course, you can see here it's uh, Mozilla Firefox, VLC, uh, Google Chrome, and all the other ones we can transfer across. So you can actually do this uh, for free, but there is going to be some programs that you're not going to be able to do for free because they've got them behind a paywall. And this is one of my biggest pet hates for programs like this when they offer a free option, but it's not actually free because some of the programs will not be able to transfer across. So if you want to do all of your programs, you're probably going to have to uh, buy the pro version. So we are just going to do the free ones in this video. Uh, and how often are you going to need to transfer programs across on your computer? Is it worth you upgrading to the pro version? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Is it going to be easier just to uninstall those programs and reinstall them to a new drive? You can do that also for free. So take into account all of those uh, factors and work out what works best for you. So now we've started to transfer some programs over here, and you can see it's transferring these over. And depending on how many you're going to transfer and how many it lets you transfer for free, will depend what you have installed on your system. Now we're on a Windows 11 based system here, and this will work on Windows 10 as well, but you can see it's transferring and then it says completed. So we're just gonna let this finish off and it will probably ask us to restart the PC uh, to commit to these changes that we're doing here. So I'll just let this finish off. There's not much more left to do. And GIMP is quite a big program. So we'll just let that finish. Now, I've got a, a funny suspicion that the antivirus program, which was Malwarebytes, will not transfer across properly because I never shut down the process. And you can see here it's fouled. 
And that's because it's running in the background and it's saying here the file is being used by another process. So if you are going to transfer uh, things like malware bytes and antivirus programs, you're probably going to have to shut that process down first. And I'll give it another go just to see whether it's successful at transferring it across because I want to test it. So we're going to restart the PC and it does take a bit of time to uh, do all its thing there when you restart. So just be patient and let that finish. I've speeded this process up. But once we get back to the desktop, we should have all of the files transferred across. And there we go. We're back at the desktop now. So let's go ahead and check this out to see uh, what's happened. We can go to File Explorer here and go inside here and then go to this PC. And you can now see that in the programs drive that I created, there's two folders called Program Files and Program Files x86. And this is where it's put those programs. So when I click on the applications, they should run from that actual drive now. They've been moved from the C drive to the E drive in this case. So I'm going to quickly click on one of these programs to see whether it loads up OK and there's no issues. It should work perfectly fine but it has now been transferred over from our original drive, which was our C drive, to our new drive. And this will free up space on the computer. So if you've got a load of programs that you want to transfer to another drive, then you can use this method without having to uninstall and lose data and all that sort of stuff. So, But bearing in mind that there is a, a paywall behind the uh, Pro version where some programs will need to be paid for before you can transfer them. So we now know that this is working OK. As you can see, it's all loading in and it's opened up perfectly fine. And what I want to do next is I do want to try the antivirus program to make sure that I can transfer that over too. If we look inside the folder here, you can see it's copied over these files here. And uh, you can see the GIMP and also we've got 7-zip and a bunch of other ones in the programs files x86. So we know that they are working correctly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly check inside the C drive and you see they have been removed from here and moved over to another drive. OK, so let's quickly open up the program and try that malware byte so I can safely say that it will copy over the actual uh, malware bytes or antivirus software. So I'm just going to quickly close this service off here and stop it running in the background. And we're going to go back into the program and quickly do app migration here. Click on start here. And there I go. I'm just going to quickly check mark the malware bytes up the top. And we are now going to quickly select transfer and transfer it over to our uh, E drive. Let me go ahead and quickly check to see if there's any sort of uh, process running here. And I can't see any process running here. So that's good. I've closed it off. And that means it should now transfer over to that new new drive there. OK, OK, so let's go ahead and transfer malware bytes across now. I'll speed this process up and there we go. You can see now it's successfully transferred this over. So I'll quickly restart the system so we can quickly see whether the actual program works correctly. So I'll quickly restart. There we go. And now we can open up malware bytes to see whether that worked correctly. And we've now successfully transferred our antivirus program over to another drive. Let me just quickly check inside here. And we now see Malwarebytes folder over there. And we can now open up the program and it should now work perfectly fine. And we've now successfully transferred over all of our programs to another drive and freed up space on our C drive. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of help to you. Now, if you've got loads of games installed on your C drive, you can also transfer those over using Steam itself. You don't need to use this program and you can put those onto an SSD or another drive or an external drive, whatever you want to do, and they will run perfectly fine from there. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely day. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.